Hello, everybody. Um, yeah, today didn't start off very good. Um, I was out taking some pictures of trains and whatnot, and then I went to go back to. I went to go back to my side of town so I could get a coffee and then I was going to come home and work on some pictures that I took on my new camera and so I was going up Cedar Street on, in Galt if you know where that is, the hill a young lady moved out I guess to see if anybody was coming and plowed right into the side of me. I'll show you the dash camera footage. Thank God I have that. And I don't know, my car is a write off. The damage was pretty significant. I'll post some pictures of that too. Um, yeah, just not very happy. Pretty upset. I don't know, that's about it. Um, the police did tell me that she got charged. I forget what they said for. I was in quite a state of shock, actually, so I don't really remember much of what happened. But I'm fine physically. I mean, I'm sore, but other than that, airbags didn't go off, which surprised me in either car. Um, of course, you know, I just obviously, if you've been watching, you know, I got into an accident there the Thursday before New Year's long weekend, and I actually had the car or the appointment scheduled to fix the car on Friday. Obviously now that's not gonna happen. Cause I know they're not gonna fix it now. There's a lot of damage. Like as you've seen in the pictures, she basically rammed right into my passenger tire, pushed that in, bent the rim, tire lost air. I'm sure there was some damage done to the transmission cause the CV joint. <clears throat> The CV joint going into the transmission was probably pushed into it. And I do feel bad for her. She's fairly young. Accidents happen. People are pretty quick to say, oh, what an idiot, what an idiot, what an idiot. It's like, well, accidents do happen. That's why they're called accidents. I'm sure she didn't mean to do it on purpose. Like, I mean, now I don't have a car. Insurance will hopefully provide me with the rental before I find something. I'm going to try to find another Nissan Altima. Coupe. I want another coupe. Probably won't have a remote start, so I'm going to have to hope the insurance gives me a good amount of money so I can end up getting a remote starter. Have that put in. Um... Yeah, I didn't really care for the one cop that showed up to the situation either. He was the first cop. He had quite an attitude. They came up to me right away, and he told me to take off my sunglasses so he could see if that I was see if I was under the influence of anything. Like, obviously, if I've been drinking or if I'm on drugs, which I wasn't. I don't drink and drive. I'm very against that. I won't even have one and drive. And then. I mean, I still gotta fill out my witness statement. I didn't really want to tell. Jeez, I can't even talk. I didn't really want to say anything at the time because I was pretty all over the place. So I have to email him. I have to email him the dash camera footage that I have too. And yeah. The second cop that showed up. I guess Buddy's partner, he was a lot nicer. 
I actually told him, yeah, I have a dash cam, and he's like, oh, what kind is it? And I told him, he's like, he's like, oh, yeah, I need to get one of those, too. And at first, I didn't even think I got, like, captured any footage on it. It's still new to me, so I wasn't entirely sure on how it worked. And I don't know. When I got home, I took the card out of it and I put it in the adapter and put it into my camera to see if I can see anything. It didn't show me anything, so I was like, Fuck, I don't have any footage. And then I plugged it into my computer and there's multiple different files. So they're on there. I'm so happy. <laughs> like, I really didn't think I had anything. I'm so happy I do. You can clearly see in the video, I was just driving up the hill. And that's it. Yeah, she pulled out and hit me, but like I said, it's it's an accident for a reason. Like, I'm sure she didn't want to smash up her car. <laughs> but, I don't know. We'll see what happens.